so, but in the meantime, not, or a big uh, majority of people who get pulled on spiritual world, what happens is that the attention and the energy of spiritual people goes into the world of spirit. And consequently, their attention goes away from making money or making it in, in the material world. So the attention has shifted. So a lot of us struggle with finances. And, you know, we would like to put our time into going to different retreats, going to different workshops, uh, spending time with uh, the guru, our gurus or spiritual teachers and guides. And so then we slowly take, uh, our attention gets diverted from the financial world. So that's a, a part that a lot of people on spiritual path are struggling with. That their attention has gone, uh, let's say 90%, 95% of their attention has gone in the world of the spirit, and now they have disconnected from the material world, and they're struggling to pay their bills. And personally, I mean, I've been there myself, many times and i come i have come across many many different people in spiritual path that they're going through the same thing now let's make something clear that when i was in insurance industry and i was living in northern arizona and sometimes i would have to drive for anything from one hour to three hours to, to go to an appointment and an appointment with, let's say, the head of a company and we were going to talk about their health insurance plan for their, for their employees. So I'm in Northern California, I'm in Northern Arizona, and I would have to drive for two or three hours. And for me, that drive became my meditation. And I'm driving in beautiful Red Rock country. I was living in Sedona, Arizona, and I'm driving in the Red Rock country in, in these beautiful, pristine views. And I can have different attitudes. I, my attitude can be like going into this place and turning the poison into medicine and having this attitude of being grateful to be given this two hours or three hour of drive that I can actually turn the drive and, and, and this business of appointment and opportunity into a spiritual opportunity by, look, by changing my vision, by looking at it that this gives me time to be in silence, whether, you know, a lot of times I didn't play any music and a lot of times I wouldn't even get on the phone and talking, you know, if I had to talk to my office or communicate, I would do it, but I would do everything in the beginning or at one point. So then I had time to turn this drive into being in a meditative state. And it's interesting because I would go into a deep silent place and reconnecting with the deep eye, reconnecting with the presence and gradually go into a state of bliss. And all of a sudden, two, three hours would go by and I had arrived at, at my destination and I was in a complete silent place and being very bliss, blissed out. Then when I would go to my appointment, I didn't view the people I was going to discuss their insurance needs and their program, I didn't view them as separate beings and entities from myself. I viewed them as parts and expressions 
of the absolute as parts of myself. And so, and I viewed the whole thing that I'm serving God, I'm serving the spirit, and actually, I'm not here to sell something to them, I'm here to serve them. And by being able to provide a much better insurance policy for, for them, or a better service, I'm, I'm serving humanity. So I'm at service. Do you see this? You, can, you, can you see how things here are being shifted? From being in this place of identifying to an insurance salesman or a businessman who is on a quest to accumulate more money and wealth or make a sale and going into this place of recognition that even though what I'm doing in the eyes of spiritual people, it's not a spiritual thing, but by shifting my vision, then I'm still serving. I'm serving the force. I'm serving the being. I'm serving God. And then in that shift of consciousness, the whole equation would change. Most of the time, people really liked me. And they felt a deep sincerity, which I was sincere in what I was doing. Of course, I wanted to make a sale, too. And, and, and have their business. But by changing my perspective, by bringing my consciousness into a higher level and bringing it to this point that I'm actually serving fellow brothers, sisters, and human beings, then energy would shift. And the entire spiritual world, the, the spirit would support me because I'm operating from a higher level of consciousness versus from a point that I'm in dual world, in duality. And there is another, and I'm trying to get something from them. And now the spirit is supporting you on your path. So that's, you know, one way, let's say you're a bus driver. Let's say you are a nurse and working in, in a hospital. Let's say you're a school teacher. Let's say you're a mother. You, you, whatever, whatever you're doing in various different sectors of the community. If you look at it from this other perspective, you are serving. You are providing a service, you're helping, you're doing something, whatever that is. Even if you're working in a, you know, oil refinery, it doesn't matter. You are doing something to provide a service. And it depends, how, it depends on you and how you're going to look at this and what is your attitude in what you're doing, whether what you're doing, you're being graceful about it, or you're gonna be in this conflict in your mind of, of telling yourself what you're doing is not spiritual and you hate it or you're angry or you have resentments and not actually you're in hell. 